Hey everybody, it is Sunday afternoon and I'm happy to say I have a new setup for my phone and extra lighting, which is so nice that no shadows and I have a stand just for my phone and I have a ring lamp. So <laughs> I just found inexpensive options on Amazon to work for that. So let's see how the Hobonichi is doing today got my daily log going and um, I did finally start using this Fabriano notebook which is just for lists really it's just lists and to do's and here I did start uh, with a camping list uh, we're planning out our camping trip so we've just got some tentative dates and times in there trying to figure out what we want to do and we have eight trips planned at this point which is we do about eight to nine I think we probably average eight a year which is pretty good considering our winters here in Minnesota so I want to go back to where I left off and I believe we ended January, so now we are in February, and the color is red. And I did switch up. This was very muted, and I went to a bright color and didn't blend them in here because I'm. I just try. I was gonna do different colors throughout, but I ended up prepping a bunch in the pink and red anyway for Valentine's. So anyway. Um, this I, page I had already showed you that I already had it done, dedicated to inks and fountain pens. And I did toss a sticker on there because I was doing some um, pre-decorating on stuff. And I'll show you all that as well. But let's start here. Um, I just, I got these pretty stickers at a Japanese grocery store in the Mall of America. And so I put one on here because I wanted to see how it work and it worked. And then I just wrote El Amor y la Amistad, um, which is uh, something like that's one of the sayings for Saint Val for Valentine's Day in Mexico. It's El Dia del Amor y la Amistad. So front love and friendship. And then um, I had this from the strawberries I bought. And then I use taco seasoning um, for supper on Wednesday, but we didn't have tacos, we had taco salad. So obviously I wrote here that I didn't get enough sleep, um, five and a half hours, not enough uh, by a long shot. And um, I woke up at three and I couldn't get back to sleep, um, just, laid there you know you you lay there and hope you can get back to sleep and it was four o'clock uh, in the morning so I had coffee and I made a list of the, all the things that were on my mind because um, there's just a lot on my mind and this is that list and I have started some of these things um, kind of rethinking how I want to do my weekly pages a happy mail I want to send somebody. Just different things that I'm trying to figure out. So I'm going to just put that up here in case I need that later. And um, also what was on my mind is I was, I think, was this the day I drove out to work? Uh, no, that was the next day, of course. having my coffee um I only had one cup today and it was at whenever I got up seven when did I get up 6 45 so around seven o'clock I should have had another cup because I am so tired anyway um so I had all this stuff on my mind and that's probably why I couldn't sleep because I started thinking so I got up and had my quiet time and did my physical therapy and then um, after he went to work I did my workout 
Um, I'm doing 60 minutes now, so I'm super happy about that. And when I work out, I read uh, my reading assignments, if I have any, for my seminary class. So that's what I did pretty much all week. The rest of that week, I would do that. And then, um, what else? Finished up my seminary work, worked on my balance sheet. Oh, and I did work. I got all these things on here. Like, I did some household things, and then I worked... A little bit and set up my new balance sheet because it's the first day of the month I paid the one bill that I pay everything else is set up to pay um, moved you know money into savings for the different things we're saving for uh, finished up my seminary work for the week um, I had coffee and I watched Willow on Disney, recorded a January decorating and flip YouTube, so that was all this, and uploaded that, and just did work as it came in. So when I didn't have work, I did other things. I watched some YouTube videos. I watched the Coffee Monster Co., which is my favorite. And I've also been really enjoying Yoseka Stationery, and so I watched them. Did my second round of physical therapy, because I'm supposed to be doing that twice a day and then fixed supper as much as I could. And when Doug, um, he took his dad to some appointments, so he got home a little late, like 6.30. So we had supper right shortly after that, and we part watched um, National Treasure on Disney Plus. Uh, it's a series that's on there. And then um, Doug went to get gas, so I watched Willow while he was gone, and we finished National Treasure when he got back, and then watched Brother vs. Brother and read until bedtime. So that was that. And um, there's not a lot of room here. i going to drink my coffee before it gets cold. Um, but I could probably put a flower or something here. Look at these cute stickers. These are from Dick, Dick Blick, but aren't they cute? But I, I want to leave them for a spread, I think. Except that unicorn, because the unicorn doesn't like go with the farm. I'm not sure why there's a unicorn on this farm. But then we have pink glittery sheep, so who knows? <laughs> we got some weird things going on here, but they're so adorable. So I thought it would be, let's put, let's just put on him. Boy, these are strong, sticky. So let's put the unicorn here because he's kind of cute. I mean, it's funny. It's just funny. All right. Okay, so that page really is done. It's not a lot of pages we have to catch up here. So Thursday, oh, and these days were uh, mostly sunny, but cold. Started out at zero, got to 20. Thursday started out at 13 and went down to minus nine. Friday was minus 12 to start and got up to three. And then it warmed up because Saturday was eight and got up to 21, which means you can wear your coat without 21 or 29? 21, 29. So you can wear your coat without zipping it when it's warm like that here in Minnesota. And today it started out at 20 and sunny, and I don't know how it's going to end up, but that's where we are. So Thursday, I just got up, did my usual stuff. I got seven hours of sleep, so that was better because the previous two nights I had not slept well. But, um, my driving anxiety came out. Because if you remember from my previous videos, we had, were in a car accident, um, spot out on the ice, didn't hit any cars, but we did hit the guardrail. And that was back in mid-December. And it took all this time, just to like a week from that Friday, that day, Thursday, I guess, we got our vehicle. Um, that's how long it took. So I had not driven in seven weeks and I was um, pretty anxious and, about it and it obviously it came out because I dreamed about it 
just dreamed about going to work and all that because I'm I'm just working part-time for 10 months and I missed a month because of the accident I'm just going back to where I used to do uh, project management administrative stuff for franchisees and I'm just doing it Tuesday through Thursday 20 hours a week and um, it's all set up for me to do my own work first and then help them where they need it until they can find somebody for this job. So that I decided just to drive in for a couple hours to set up because I, I needed to set up um, the second computer with all my full-time work stuff and my uh, seminary class stuff so that I have it all in, on there at work as well and pick up the key so I went in visited with people um, got my computer set up but I decided I wanted to go the quick way to work and um, I went midday so like 10 o'clock and you have to get on the freeway uh, which is one of the big ones here in Minnesota and it's 494 and then a short distance on that, and then a little bit on 169, which isn't as big a highway, but it's not a freeway, but it is a highway, and then get off on the first exit after getting on there. So it takes nine minutes. If I went the other way around where I avoid the freeway and the highway, um, it doubles the time. And I thought midday, the freeway's not gonna be so bad. And it wasn't. I hadn't driven on 494 for 15 years, if you can believe that. At least 15 years. And only once. Because it's just, it's scary to me. But it went perfectly fine. But I think, um, I think I tensed up while I was driving. And when I got to work, to CGI, I had such a bad headache. My shoulder hurt because that's what I had injured in the accident and my neck and the back of my head, well the back of my head, I had a headache and it moved to my eye. So I usually, when I get that, it's kind of a tension headache. So it's just nasty. And I had it for eight hours before it finally went away. I finally took naproxen and it went away. But um, usually it doesn't go away till I sleep. At night and get up in the morning but it, it pretty sure it was anxiety induced anyway I had a, a nice time there with everybody and then I headed um, back home after two hours and Doug got home just shortly after I did and so we headed down to Burnsville to make some stops so Park Nicollet first for his hearing aids to get him clean and then one has to be sent in so he's walking around with just one being able to hear decent in one ear which makes life interesting and then um, my physical therapy appointment was late, a little later, so we stopped uh, at the Caribou in Byerly and Lunds. So we got um, coffee, I got a caramel latte, and we both got this milk chocolate pecan toffee candy. This probably was not a wise choice, but we did it. <laughs> and he had hot chocolate because he doesn't do caffeine. And then, um, so we sat there and visited. They had a nice place, dining area, where you could just sit. And um, then we went right, my physical therapy place was right close by. So we went, and when I told her, like, how I was feeling and the headache and all, and what had brought it on, she's like that, that that was normal and she wasn't surprised. And she said instead of making me do more exercises during that session and hurting more, you know, and being miserable, she decided just to do what she calls manual therapy, which is basically a massage, but she hits the pressure points. So she did that on both of my shoulders and my neck, and it really, it just felt good because I could lay down and my legs were up to, you know, have my legs up and um, elevated, and it was really, really good. I needed it. Didn't take the headache away, but it still helped. Then after that, we went back up to Bloomington where we live and we went to the credit union because we, the title for the new vehicle, then missed two places where we needed to sign. 
did that, and then we went to our friends, Steve and Diane's, and showed them our new vehicle and visited for a bit, which was really nice. And then we stopped at the grocery store. I forget, we had to get something. I can't honestly even remember what it was, but we got it. <laughs> and supper was fish, baked potato and corn, and we watched The Weather and The Great British Baking Show. There's a new one out on Netflix called The Professionals, so that's what I've been watching. It's very different from the regular one if you're familiar with The Great British Baking Show, but, but um, I like it. And then Doug had his men's online Bible study group, so I watched Wheel of Fortune and Will Trent and had some popcorn. And then when he got done, we watched Ghosts and then just read it until bedtime. So that was that day. So, hmm, my coffee's starting to cool down. Okay, so we have here Caribou and just need a little decoration in there nothing fancy what should I do maybe maybe something from here probably wouldn't hurt I should probably look at like the medical ones because ugh, you know Let me see if I can find the ones that are that sort of thing. Because you have that, which I didn't, did I water plants? I feel like I did. Let's go over here to this week and see what I did. So, Thursday. Nope. I did not water plants. I did my weigh in and my budget sheet, but that was it. I just want to see um, if I got something in here for like a doctor, a doctor visit. I had appointments like here. So I suppose I could just put this here, okay, and anything else. I did do some of my paying, I mean this was, I did that yesterday too, so I don't really want to mark it for today, and I did my workout so I suppose I could do um, I don't want to do that either so it's kind of like you know trying to figure out these because I don't look at them very often this was also appointment but no yeah I don't see anything at gonna work. So, we just put that away. Um, let me see if I can come up with something else. I did have my planner long because we were doing stuff, but... Maybe I'll just put some different things. There's that. I'm gonna put the pillow because of my headache. And maybe I'll just put, oh, coffee. I can put a coffee, a coffee sticker down. I have regular coffee stickers, but I, I wanna use this color, so that's the reason I'm doing that. All right. Next Friday, um, oh, and I took that naproxen, and you know what? It really helped. I slept really good, and um, I had my coffee when I got up, and my phone time, and then my quiet time, and then um, 
Oh, I worked because I got up early enough that I got done. So while he had his quiet time, I worked. And we watched weather and traffic like always every morning. And then he went to work. And I did my physical therapy exercises and my workout. And I read a book for class like when I worked out. And then I worked a couple hours and I called my mother-in-law to chat with her and decorated the planner for St. Patrick's and Easter and spring. So I did some decorating here in March, just a little, so I'll show you what I did. Here's St. Patrick's. And then I did, oh, I did this and I got a little mixed up, but here's, here's the page for March, the month of March. So I did St. Patrick's and then I did Easter forgetting that Easter is the first Sunday in April. <laughs> and I went to April and I decorated for spring and I threw an Easter egg and a couple carrots in there for Easter since I totally messed up on that. And then I think, did I do, I did a little bit of spring as well for um, May because we do have a, late, a later spring here in Minnesota. And I think I decorated a little bit ahead as well, I believe. If I come back to my weeks, I did um, some St. Patrick's Day for that. And I didn't do Easter because I have to look up the date. And yeah, that I guess that's all I did. So yeah, not a lot. Um, anyway, then Rachel and my daughter and my granddaughter picked me up at 12 and we went to Perkins for brunch and then we went to Blick, the Blick Art Store. So I did get some Tombow markers there and we went to Target. Um, so I got a cute stuffy for Sadie and some food and then... Rachel dropped Sadie and me off at um, our place because Sadie is staying the night. And so she watched some YouTube and I checked on work, did some planner stuff, watched some great British, ba British baking show, The Professionals. And then when Duck got home, um, we watched some, she, we, she watched some Sonic Boom on Netflix and I fixed supper, which was corn dogs, fries, and fried pickles. And even though it is now February, we watched the last episode of the Santa Clauses on Disney. And then we watched an animated movie on Netflix called My Father's Dragon. Cleaned up dishes, got ready for bed, and she takes melatonin now to sleep. And she fell asleep at like 9, 10. So we went to bed early too, which too early, honestly. Mm. Anyway, so let me just make sure I've got this. Don't want my, I don't want my computer to turn off because I think it'll make it darker if it does. All right, so let's see, some decorating, nothing, I don't really have anything, so to speak, to put here. So what I think I'll do is just look at some things that I have and see what will work. Cause I have, I have these, but none of these really appeal. They're very wintry, which it is winter, but it's also f February. That's kind of cute. Um, and I do have some that are uh, these. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty, isn't it? It just embodies the beauty of this time of year. Let's put these in here. I'm gonna end up cutting like the stems off, but we can just do this anyway. I have resigned myself to the fact that I my videos are just going to be long. I guess you guys are used to that. If you watch me, you know my videos are super long and chatty. And you can just, you know, follow along and do your own work while you're listening to me. 
and uh, you know this is just this is just how I do it I don't know what else to say it's just me so I'm just going to trim this like that and put that down so a little glue and I think this one is almost used up. We are really, really close to the end of this one. I really like this new video setup I got because um, I, I redid my craft room, which is the video before this one. And um, I have a new setup, so I don't have the jiggly arm thing I was using for my phone. And it really, it really works nice, you know? I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so I didn't really plan here very well. So I think I'll just take off part of this. I wasn't, I wasn't planning <laughs> decently. That was very sad. I wonder if I can put it up here and Can. If I just take off part of this, yeah, and I could actually take off some of this so that I don't need all that on here, and then just re-glue it a little, because it is looking a little bit like it needs a little, needs a little glue, yeah. I think that's okay. All right. Okay, and then um, we need something here. So what should we do? I could do, well, okay, I've got this washi, but this would just like clash because it's too much. But this, it's really pretty. So let's go with this one. I forgot I was having trouble with this washi too. I don't know why. Right here, you can see. So I've got double washi up to here. And what I really should do is try and get this one off. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder, you know, when it the washi does this is it like it's really old or something so I guess I'll just do this and we will be using thicker washi here so I'm gonna put this here okay and maybe I'll put up a little put a little bit up here too right there and do I want to do some here just so that it gets used you know no I don't so hopefully the rest of that wash isn't gonna give me you know trouble like that then I want to use a little bit of this purple and my coffee is probably ice cold now. Not too bad. So let's see if I can find this. This washi should not be old. I got this at Michael's and it was a set, but I'm definitely, um, I definitely seem to be having uh, some issues with it for some reason. Like here, it see, there is that same situation where it's not working the way it should. So what you have here is this double stuff, which you should not have. So, see? Isn't that crazy? This one peeled though, so I'm glad about that. And I am going to use it because I want to put it down here on the bottom. Okay. This 
off. And then I'm going to put some over here. So pretty. My goodness. So pretty. And then we can just put this one right here. Okay. And now I still have a little bit left. So hopefully I can use it. I could probably use it on this next page, right? We're almost caught up for all my talking. You are all very patient with me while I sit here and chat away like nobody's business. <laughs> kind of want to do this a little different. Um, oh, come on. Let's peel, take off this extra that I have there and I'll put this here. This is really a pretty, um, pretty color. All right, good enough. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of decorating on that page. I think we're gonna let the washi be the decoration for my um, Saturday. So yesterday, oh my goodness, I got a lot accomplished. So I guess it's okay to be tired Pardon me, tired today, don't you think? I think so. I think it's okay to be tired today. Oh man. All right, so let's put this one up here too. Oh, this washi is not, not the best, is it? Look at that. Tor. I am quite disappointed, to say the least. We are gonna make this work. Because I am going to just match it up as best I can. Um, is it like this? Kind of, close enough, I know. Not perfect, but it's going to have to work. All right. So crazy. All right. So Saturday, because we had gone to bed early, um, it was no surprise I woke up super early. I woke up at, I think I woke up at 3.30. Yeah. And when I woke up, I just started thinking about my craft room. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can go look. Uh, it's just under Terry Cojatin, I think. Or maybe it's Terry O'Byrne Cojatin. Um, let me look. But if you look it up, you will see that Instagram, Instagram. Here we go. It is just Terry Kojatin. Okay. If you look it up, you will see the pictures of my before and after. Plus, I did a couple reels. So, you would get to see um, all of that if you took a look. And, um, and just see how I'm doing it. And I showed the before of my craft room, which really, it it wasn't horrible, but I just felt so cluttered. Um, and I just, it was getting harder for me to like really be able to concentrate and do stuff. And, and I knew that I needed to just go through things and straighten up. And I didn't actually get rid of anything. You know what I threw away? A votive candle uh, to the gift, to the giveaway bag. That's it. So I didn't get rid of stuff. Maybe some papers, but not very much, honestly. So anyway, I thought about that. So then at 4.30, I got up and I was on my phone because Sadie sleeps in the living room on an air mattress. So there was no place for me to like turn on a light or do anything because I don't want to wake her up at 4.30. So um, I got up and I looked at Michael's online and I got two of their wooden cube units. They're white 
and one they have shelving and I already had two and I just decided to get two more and stack them so I ordered the two nearby so we could just go pick them up and then I kind of plotted in my head how I wanted my craft room to look so pretty much pretty much figured out what I wanted to do at least the basics like move my tables different and one the small table that I was using for work I decided I would just put um, the storage units on that, and uh, I re we rehung some pic you know pictures would change because of how I was moving stuff and the big desk which is a big wooden table um, would move over and I would get the light from the window but have room for my plants too and then use that desk because it was so big use it for craft and work and just have a lot of space and then take my two three tier carts which I had books in for class and put my supplies in there instead and put my books on the bookshelf so I was actually able to implement all that that was later on but that was all going through my head well anyway I went back to bed at seven no six six o'clock an hour and a half later and I laid down and slept fitfully for an hour I would say hour and 15 minutes got back up thought some more about my craft room because I didn't want to wake Sadie up by turning on a light and then finally Doug and Sadie both got up around 750 Doug got a little bit before that so then I had my quiet time or we both did and then breakfast I just made muffins and um, got ready for the day, moved a few things out of the craft room while I was waiting for breakfast. And then after we ate, we started working on the craft room. So Doug was kindly helped me. So I carried everything out except the two tables and the bookshelves, of course, I'll stay, they stayed. But everything else we carried out and then um, we, moved the table and desk where we wanted it and put set up the computer. I have two monitors plus the box unit that I can set stuff on top of. That's the actual computer. And then we rehung most of the pictures because they needed to be brought up higher. And I redid my bulletin board and um, he went and got the storage units from Michael's and put them together. And then we figured out he helped me put those where we they needed to be and then um, he took off to do his stuff and I finished doing the room so it took about three and a half hours total and I'm super happy with the results and I feel like I have a better system for recording and better lighting and more space honestly just to have all my journaling and planning supplies and my inks um, all in one of those three tiered roller carts right by me is really really good and super helpful and it keeps the clutter off my desk which is wonderful so we did that and then um, Sadie watched Sonic Boom for a bit and then um, Rachel came and we her and Sadie and Doug and I went to visit his mom like mid-afternoon when we went to see her almost four three thirty ish so we had a really nice visit with her and then we took rachel and sadie home and um got some groceries and then got home ourselves around six. Oh, and she gave me she can't see well enough to do puzzles anymore so she let me choose what i wanted of her puzzle so i got five puzzles jigsaw puzzles and then um like i said we got home and we had hamburgers for supper and sweet potato tots and root beer floats. I put that we had ice cream, but we had floats. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I did write that later. Oh, I see. I wrote what we bought at Cub. My goodness, Terry. Anyway, we watched Black Panther Wakanda forever. And then honestly, after that, I just finished the journaling and went to bed um, it was 10 after 10:30, and I was tired 
I'm still tired. The coffee didn't wake me up as much as I'd like. So that brings us up to today, and really, um, there's not a lot happening today. Now I have this calendar at work, and it's just kind of a silly, a silly one. It's called Snappy Ladies. Um, I'd kind of like to put one of these on here. <laughs> Five seasons of a TV show in one weekend. I mean, honestly, <laughs> it's so funny. They're just funny. I'm sorry. For, to end up old and wise, first you must be young and foolish. Here's a good one for today because I'm so exhausted. They're just silly. I mean, come on. Pretty silly. <laughs> you know, I bought it for somebody else and I didn't use it. So, um, I just, um, I just used it, grabbed them, and I took it to my other, that other job because I didn't know what else to do with it. And I thought, you know, that, that works. But I kind of like this, so I'm just going to use this because I'm not going to have a lot to write today. It's pretty nice out there, too. We have good temps. The sun is shining. We're getting rain this week, Ugh, which is so, so crazy. We do not get rain in the winter in Minnesota, hardly ever. And this year has definitely been uh, the exception to the rule. That's for sure. Okay, as soon as I get this done, I'm going to go over it and show you the monthly pages and the weekly pages. And I really should catch up and show you the change I made because I decided to change up what I was doing. And I tried a couple of things I didn't care for, but then I feel like I'm at least starting to kind of get my rhythm, figuring it out, you know exactly how I want to do it so it is coming let's, oh, I don't want to use that tape let's, let's not use that one let's use this trim this up a little okay all right So that's just a little pre, a pre decorating for this day, which we will finish up later on another time. But I do kind of like this washi tape with this, so let's just do that for the heck of it. Just because it's pretty. All right. I think that is more than sufficient. All right, now I wanna just go and show you what we have done. Back here then on my monthly pages, we have February and we did do something here, so why don't I catch this up and we visited, oh, pink, oh my gosh. It's the wrong color, I'm not gonna worry about it. it does not matter. So, uh, Rachel, I'll just go Ray and Sadie, and we, <laughs> us, I don't know, visited Abby. So that was something we did. And then her birthday is here and we are having everybody over for her birthday. So I'm gonna put that here and celebrate Evie's birthday. So Doug's brother and his wife are coming and my daughter and granddaughter are coming. I 
think my son-in-law is busy. Celebrate Abby's birthday at our house. And then the official CGI start is on Wednesday. Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks like we're getting snow on um, Thursday, which means I won't go in. But start part time at CGI. And this money is so we can help our son out with his wedding in Mexico and go there ourselves. So that's the whole purpose besides helping them out of that job. So nothing else, I don't think. Nothing at this point. You never know what's gonna come up, but we can take a break here. And then it is a busy week. We have. Monday, there's nothing, thank goodness. Sisterhood, home group, marriage night at church, the birthday, and then uh, it looks like we can relax on the weekend, which will certainly be good. I'm coming close to an hour here, so I do want to finish up. I don't want to go over an hour. So here is this week. So let me cross off a couple of things. I did actually quite a bit. Still didn't do that ink swatch. Um, did any of these orders come in? Not yet. Some of them are, are overseas, and so uh, they are not. I'm just having to wait. So did I do, I did not do any PT on Saturday. I was sore. Um, I haven't done today yet. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did do my hamstring, though, because... I don't want to have walking issues. All right. Yeah, I got to get back on that track with that. But my shoulder was just so sore today. I just wanted to not, I don't want to irritate it by doing the exercises. So I have to think about all that. And then, as I said, um, this was the day. And if I want to kind of catch up, I would say, let's see, 3.30 was when we went to Evie's and we stayed. That's 1.30. Oh my gosh. Okay. 3.30 down here. We stayed till like 5 o'clock-ish. So. Let's go here. That was Saturday, right? Visit Evie with Rachel and Sadie. And nothing here. This was just a mistake. And then I was doing this, and this I like. Okay, so I did um, to-dos. And just a simple to do. And if I had, did went somewhere, I put it in here. But if I didn't, then I didn't have to do that. And here, because we did the craft room, I do want to put that down that we worked on that craft room around 9 30 ish. Look at this is one of the new colors I got. It's so pretty. I worked on this for a long time. There we go. And we are going to write craft room. Refresh and reorganize. Okay, nice. And 
I don't need a to-do list because we did not do anything as far as work. And here either. Just, you know, just really calm. And if I want to put anything down, I think I'll just put um, this afternoon that I did recording. And I think I started at 3 because it is almost 4 o'clock. So this is another new color, but it's, I think it's drying out because the cap, the cap was not on really good. So sadly. So this, um, I can at least say I recorded, record YouTube video. And honestly, that's about it. I'm making a making a pizza tonight, a homemade one. But as far as doing anything, nada, nada. All right, I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next week, <clears throat> it's a blank slate. I just gotta fill, I just gotta fill everything in, but it's pretty open. And so I can kind of try my new style and figure out how I want to do that. And then we'll just go back here and relook at the days that I decorated. And there we go. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.